Welcome to Toby Rock. We're located here in the Blue Water Marina, Trinity Park in Cairns. I am a co-owner of this beautiful Blue Water cruising yacht and we are reluctantly selling her after a beautiful three years of living aboard and cruising because we have a growing family. Come aboard Toby, I'll give you a quick deck, cabin and engine tour. We are the second owners of Toby Ruff doing two winters up the Coral Coast. The original owners have circumnavigated the world and essentially have shown that it is a seaworthy, proven vessel. We believe that this yacht is best suited to a sailing couple or even someone that's new to the liveaboard lifestyle and needs to do the shakedown before getting their sailing legs. Being a steel yacht, Toby Ruff is definitely a little bit heavier, but it's more stable in the water. There's less rocking and rolling, and we believe that this boat can literally handle any weather condition. From the tropical environments of Cairns, right through to the icy waters of Antarctica, this six millimeter steel hull will get you through anything. She's 34 years old, uh, launched in 1990, which for a steel yacht makes her a teenager. Most steel yachts, if well maintained, will outlive their owners. We recently completed a haul out in March 2023, uh, where the through holes were replaced, the new anodes were installed, and all the cables up the mast were rerun for the new AIS. Now, some of the key features that I personally love about our cockpit is that we've got this solid fiberglass dodger here with an operating opening window, which means that you will remain dry in even the roughest conditions. We've got access points on both sides of the yacht for port and starboard with our stainless steel life rails. Another key feature of the cockpit is that it's nice and deep. We've got really large cockpit drain holes a brand new wind instrument, BNG wind instruments. We've got a Course Master 500 autopilot and our chart plotter is a 2021 Simrad. The cleats have been welded onto the deck. So this is the most solid of boats and one of the benefits of having steel. We have stainless steel life rails, stainless steel granny bars, and points that you can actually clip on and that are welded to the boat with the main. It is on a boom furler, otherwise known as a furling main. Pop the winch handle into the winch and it will release the main up. One of the benefits about having furling main mast is that you don't have any messy bags to be putting the main into and birds won't be nesting and pooping all over your deck. The stay sail is at about 70%. Our Jib and Genoa are fairly new. They're also on a furler at about 90-95%. We've also got our Rockner anchor, 25 kilograms and 80 metres of stainless steel 10 mil chain. You will be able to sleep in peace knowing that this boat is not going anywhere at anchor. We've got one rigid inflatable bottom dinghy that's hyper long, lush on the deck. Um, we actually have a his and hers dinghy. So this is the his dinghy and it comes with a 9.9 .9 mercury two stroke outboard. The hers dinghy is actually a little inflatable uh, rubber ducky. And the outboard is this really cute, easy to handle 2.5 uh, Suzuki four stroke, which I love because I can carry it on and off completely by myself. So this is the fuel tank for the rigid dinghy. We've got the two outboards stowed up here on the back underneath this custom uh, built stainless steel arch. On top, there are two 305 watt solar panels. We've also got a manual tiller, two aluminium 10 kilogram gas bottles. We've got a marine grade barbecue here. Anything that you need stored, the Lazarette is a great spot for it. A stainless steel cradle here for the life raft. Our rigging was replaced in 2018, which means that it is suitable until 2028. As the cabin galley slave, let me show you my domain. This is our navigation station where you can easily store charts. We've got our uh, ship's time and barometer. Fairly new VHF radio with a distress button, which was installed in 2021. And this is our Simrad chart plotter, which we just saw downstairs when not in use. Stainless steel grab rails, which are really handy in rough conditions. Both of these actually act as crew berths, which are great and handy for night sailing or if you're entertaining and have some visitors on the boat. This table here also lifts up 
and there's actually a wine closet storage inside the table as well. Got a bookcase with teak lining and we've got a lot of pantry storage. Everything is storage on this boat underneath where I'm sitting behind and also we have a galleyway. Twin barrel caravan washing machine which is able to be used with the lithium batteries and we've also got a portable air conditioner which cools down to 18 degrees and also has a dehumidifier. If you have a quick glance at the forepeak, it has actually been converted into storage, but if you wanted to convert it back to a cabin, that could easily be done. Nice big sink. We've got our fresh water tap and a water filter. Uh, Toby Ruff actually has 360 litres of internal water storage, not including the jerrys. We've got a stainless steel tank and also a fiberglass tank. Custom fit crockery, which means that even in the roughest conditions that the bowls and plates won't go flying everywhere. And same for the saucepans. Now this all will be staying with the boat when you decide to purchase it. <laughs> An 80 litre freezer and 150 litre fridge, dual gas stove burner which is obviously on a gimbal but one thing that I genuinely love about this boat is because it is a centre cockpit it elegantly splits up the living and the sleeping space which means that when you are cruising with your partner that there's ample room to actually have some time out ample pantry storage in the galleyway which is actually on the port side of the boat. Come on through to the aft cabin and I'll give you a tour. So this is the aft cabin which I believe is so amazingly like convenient and also comfortable. We've got a special marine grade uh, mattress which is firm but also soft. There's ample storage in this room for wardrobe and other items. We've got little reading lights, um, a special Sirocco fan which uh, is super effective and a cabin cooler as well for the hatch. You'll see here that there's hatches all throughout uh, the cabin to allow for a cross flow. We've got a Levac toilet system which has recently been serviced and an electroscan uh, chemical treatment system. We also do have a handheld shower but we have actually switched it off because being in the tropics uh, we prefer to shower on deck. There's a wet weather storage cupboard in the, located in the head as well which is really conveniently located when doing night watch. This here is our Perkins 4108 diesel engine. It has been regularly serviced by Levi, who is regimental slash anal with the engine. That can be accessed from three sides. We've got an engine room, the galleyway, and also here, which is conveniently placed on top of an inbuilt toolbox. The great thing about Perkins, other than that they never die and are super reliable, run really well, only using 1.5 litres per hour at 2000 RPM. They're easy to fix and they're easy to find parts for. In here as well, we've got the lithium batteries, 400 amps. We've also got an inverter, a Victron DC to G DC uh, adapter, charger. Uh, we've got a starter battery and we've also got the anchor winch battery. We hope that you can enjoy Toby Roth as much as we have. After launch in 1990 and with only two owners so far, we know that this yacht has been beautifully maintained inside and out. We hope that you can go blue water cruising on a very safe and stable and well-maintained vessel um, and live that beautiful lifestyle, that liveaboard lifestyle that we love and cherish so, so much and she'll look after you as much as you look after her. We're located in Blue Water Marina Trinity Park in Cairns, and we'd love to show you through the boat. We're open to all realistic offers, so please get in touch today and either Levi and I can give you a viewing.